and welcome to the NCETM Parent Tip Videos. Today we'll focus on how to teach times tables effectively using a counting stick. But first of all, why do we teach times tables? Memorising tables makes it far quicker and easier for children to work out maths problems in their heads. Knowing their times tables can also help your child more readily grasp other important aspects of maths, such as fractions, division, and percentages. A counting stick is just one of many strategies that could be used to teach times tables. It's an effective way of ensuring that children can make connections between facts that they know, such as 5 times 4 equals 20, and linking this to other facts that they may not be sure of, such as 5 times 8 equals 40. Knowing that 5 times 8 is double 5 times 4 can help them to understand these facts. This table shows which year groups the multiplication facts are taught in. During this video, we'll be looking at learning the four times table, which as you can see, is under year three objectives. Before we begin, let's have a think about why a counting stick is a great strategy to use. Children will have used number lines from an early age, and by the time they encounter the four times table in year three, they will have had experience in counting forwards and backwards in steps of different sizes. The counting stick acts like a 3D number line. In this video, the stick is divided into 10 equal parts, like you can see on the screen. However, counting sticks can be divided in many different ways. Each part of a counting stick represents a particular unit. This video focuses on each part representing a unit of four, but counting sticks can be used for any whole number, as well as decimal numbers, fractions and percentages. Intervals on a counting stick can be fully labelled, as you can see on the screen, and as children become more confident, these labels can be removed. You'll see this later on in a counting stick video. Holding the counting stick in the middle and drawing attention to this halfway benchmark encourages children to make links between halves and quarters. As children become familiar with this resource, their confidence and flexibility when working with numbers will develop. A counting stick provides an ideal opportunity to draw links between numbers and for children to see those numbers visually. For this activity, you'll need some post-its or sticky notes to label the counting stick and a pole to act as the counting stick itself. This could be a brush handle, a broom handle, the pole to a washing line, anything you have lying around the house that could act as a counting stick. If you haven't yet watched the activity, pause the video here and find the video of Mrs Winfield using the counting stick to demonstrate the four times table. You may have noticed the multiplication facts were stressed in a specific order. This was done to highlight some relationships within the four times table. However, the order shown here is only a suggestion. There are many relationships within the four times table that you and your child could explore together. So you've watched the video and you and your child have been working through the counting stick activity. Remember, this isn't something that will happen overnight. It can take children days, weeks even, until they've really mastered their multiplication facts. So don't be disheartened. Let's imagine your child is secure with counting up in their four times table facts. What next? How can we deepen children's understanding? When most of us were at school, when we completed a task and got the correct answer, we'd be given something more difficult and difficult often meant bigger numbers or more wordy problems. However, that's not the case. In order to really challenge a learner's understanding, in schools, we get children to look at all possible ways of engaging with what they are working on before moving on to a new concept. We're moving deeper, not moving on too quickly. So how can we do this? A great way to deepen children's understanding is to ask them to spot patterns. 
A key question that we often ask in maths lessons is what patterns did you spot? For example, on the number line below, children might spot the relationship between 3 times 4 equaling 12 and 6 times 4 equaling 24. 6 is double 3, just as 24 is double 12. Similar patterns could be spotted with 9 being triple 3 and 36 being triple 12. Using representations is another great way to deepen understanding. Here, the number line or counting stick is presented vertically instead of horizontally. Can children recognise that even though the representation is different, the units don't change? We're still counting on in units of four. As we move on, it's important to choose our examples carefully to allow children to continue to spot patterns and make those connections and relationships between numbers. For example, we've just looked at multiples of four. So if we move on to multiples of eight, there are lots of observations that can be made, lots of similarities and differences. For example, can you see that one lot of eight is double one lot of four? Why might this be? Does this work at other points on the number line too? Try looking at five lots and 10 lots as these are easier to double. It's important to remember that as with all learning, repetition is key to ensuring that these facts are secure in the long-term memory. The focus for this video has been using a counting stick to learn multiplication facts. However, a counting stick can be used in many different ways. Below are just some of the websites that will give you different ideas and activities that you can use with your children. These cover a range of ages and don't just focus on learning multiplication facts, but different activities that can run alongside these.